children and welcome to our class today we are going to study from unit 1 lesson number 6 announcement the word announcement says these are declarative sentences which gives you some information announcements are used to tell about something important and is usually short these can be found on notice board or are told during school assembly it is kept short and small so that people will understand it easily announcements are done in public or private it can be written or oral form it can be live or recorded announcement answers the following question the characteristics of good announcement include the information that tells what when where and how At the end of announcement there should be a strong call to action announcement includes the following point the exact date the exact time exact place see that you specify all these things and be specific if not no one will attend here are a few examples of announcement from your textbook page number 14 the first announcement is written on 6 july 2015 which says it has been observed by the head boy and the head girl that certain classes do not clean up their classroom before leaving if any class is found untidy and littered after school that class will be detained the next day after the school hours up to 4 pm please take note of this so here you clearly understand that the head boy and the head girl has observed that certain classes are not being cleaned properly and it is kept untidy so here is an announcement where actually a type of warning has been given to the student that if a certain class is going to be untidy or littered with papers and all then the next day they will be punished they will be detained after the school that also after school hours till 4 pm they will be given punishment so we have to take notice of this because this is another type of announcement where it can be made in school one more example of an announcement that tomorrow that is on 10th of july school will close an hour earlier as a teacher have to attend an important ptn meeting so please inform your parents to arrange to pick you up at 2 pm instead of 3 pm so here the notice has been given to the parents where they are actually telling that instead of 3 pm the school will be leaving at 2 pm and they have already told the reason for that so here this is another kind of announcement that they are telling that one day in advance that tomorrow the school will leave early so this is another type of announcement that can be done in school there is examples given of announcement but the next announcement is the school has organized a storytelling competition for classes 5th 6th and 7th from 21st to 25th of july the competitions will be held in the school hall at 10 in the morning children may select a fable a folk tale a fairy tale a true story a funny story three prizes will be given for each category the time limit is 3 to 5 minutes those who wish to participate may contact mrs sanjana mohite for other details they must register their names with her before 16th of july now here in this announcement children you can clearly see there are important points being mentioned like what it is i had told you what when where who why and how so what it is it's a storytelling competition and it is going to held in school okay and they have given us the day the time how much time limit is there and to whom we are actually going to approach so this is another example of announcement where it has to be short simple sweet also but you need to mention to specify the day and time as you can see in this notice or announcement so these are the type of announcement there are many more you can refer that from your textbook and try to write an announcement by your own but remember you are going to write the exact date exact time exact place and be specific and let it be short and simple i hope you will be able to do this announcement so till then take care of yourself and we'll meet again in the next lesson till then thank you